Hello and welcome to Hops and Bros. This week, a very special beer. You're not gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, okay? Yeah, I it's was a very close. special beer. This was a close one. A close it, was a close, one. it was a close one. You almost yeah. got me there. Yeah. Yes, it's, I, it's, I could see you were revving to say it, and no, no, I know, I know. not happen. But this one's a special one because it's a collab. It's a collaboration Ooh. between two very, very awesome breweries. Uh, one, that one that's really very far. Love. Yes, so uh, Dunham. And Twin Sales. Twin Sales, Twin which is... Twin Sales in BC! Located in BC. Yes, in BC. Now, while you're pouring, a couple fun facts about uh, the distance between these two breweries. That's so, it's about 47 hours drive. Wow. Yes. Yes, That's it's uh, quite 75? far. 75? No, no, no. 45. 45, okay. Uh, 47, then. sorry. 47. Same number. Straight Anyways. up, straight up, right? Just Straight up, if you, you just drive and you don't stop. 47 hours. Uh, okay. 39 days if you want to walk it. Wow. Yes. That's quite, 39 that's quite impressive. Days. 39 days. Honestly, it's less than I thought. W would you make I was, it? I was expecting a lot more than that. Would you walk it to get Twin Cells beer? No, I would never walk it. To, no, because I have a car. But you know, <laughs> Twin Cells, um, they come visited us in Ottawa. Not yes. us, us and bros, but us, Ottawa, for the Canadian Brewing Awards. But if they want to come visit us someday, we'll be happy. We'll be glad to receive you in our... Humble, awesome studio. Awesome studio. Humble. Eh? That's humble. a good word yeah, there. That's the first time yeah, I, I like used that. It's really cool, right? <laughs> it is. Um, but they were here to brew a collab with Dominion City, yes. which they brewed the Northern Wish, which was kind of like a New England IPA. Amazing beer. We were at the lunch at the Brothers Beer Bistro. Amazing yes, time yes. we had. And after that, they just went off to Dunham to brew a collab with them, which is the Quench de Soif. Quench du Soif? Quench yeah. du Soif. Quench du Soif. Which, if you're French, it's an awesome, it's an awesome name. It's really, really yeah. interesting. But it's also a little clin d'oeil to all the breweries in the United States that are using French names to make their beer uh, looks fancy. Yes. That's what they did. That's what they okay. did. So, uh, this is a wild IPA. So, classic but, uh, but IPA brewed by Twin Cells is also a really good one. Yeah. But with uh, the name own wild yeast. Yeah, because the, the, the cool thing about the Nam is that all their beers are done with Brett's, no? Is that the brewery? No, fuck, it's the other one. Never mind. I didn't say nothing. It's interesting but that they use wild yeast for this beer, because they, they rarely do. <laughs> they, they do have a lot of, uh, they have a They're really good yeah. Brett wild program in there. Nice. But, which is something that's getting a lot more popular mm -hmm. with breweries, especially in Quebec, uh, to have your own wild yeast. Uh, I guess it's, it's, not a new trend, but almost a new trend. It's a new, like, let's see if we can use wild yeast I think and it's make a great beer. I think it um, makes the beer a lot more local. Yeah, no, definitely. But, and I they, mean, there's a reason why, uh, they like, wild yeast wasn't used for a while. They were using factory yeast because yes. it's more consistent. Exactly. Which, with wild yeast, you never know really what you're going to get. I think we did a cracker on one on breads, if you want to know more about yeah, that. That's so it's going to be thing. at the end of the video. Yes. Uh, good segue. It's a good way to good reference our other videos. Back to the beer, poured a nice, easy little yeah. yellow tint on it. Big, fluffy white head on top with a lot of effervescence on it. Pretty sure on that's the name of porn I saw once. Yeah, Big on this melt, white head. I, I do get a lot of fruity esters out of it. And it's kind of like, I got a little bit of like the banana esters out of it. A little bit. But, you, you but a lot it? less than usually. I, I'm... I hate bananas. It's one of the fruits I hate the most. Yeah. So as soon as I I see it, smell it, feel it in a beer, taste it in a beer, uh, I tend to not like it. Yeah. With this guy, it's very subtle. You yep. do get the banana, but not at levels where I get turned off. Exactly. But one really nice thing I do get, uh, take your sip and it's a mouthful of flavors. So you get a blend of like those nice I think that's citrusy. Another what? Another porn I've seen once. A mouthful of flavors. Continue, please. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this video will be flagged. This video it's will definitely be, flagged. be flagged. Just because Sorry. of a really bad joke. <laughs> oh my god. But yes. But yes, it is a mouthful nice, of flavor. Nice citrusy uh, flavors. I also Sounds get a little bit uh, of spices. So those nice spicy odds in there. I think so. <laughs> but uh, everything is from the effervescence. So it feels a lot more drier than other IPAs. Sorry. Yeah, lots of bubbles in there. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach is going out there. Um, but as always, then I'm they're just putting it and a notch, a notch above. Yeah, a notch yeah, above yeah everyone else. Every beer we've flavors. had from them, it's just 
flavorful, more flavorful than the one before. Yeah. It, they do great beers, and their breads are pretty awesome to a point where I thought they only did breads. So that's how good but this bread is. They also <laughs> do kick ass IPAs. Yes. So, um, which Twin Cell does as well. So it's nice to exactly. have a bread IPA. Yes. Uh, which I'm always interested of the behind the scenes of them creating the recipe. Like yeah. Twin Sales comes here, uh, they, they probably do more than just talk and sit around. They probably yeah. actively try to create the best beer they can in the collaborations. So I would love to assist one of those. Me too. I'd, yeah. lo I'd love to do one too. Yeah, but, um, definitely. That'd be interesting. Just adding on the finish yeah, of on, this beer, on, yeah. uh, the zesty bitterness is really amazing yes. on this one. I like it. Uh, balances out the sweetness of like the beer because it's still a FD. I think it's a good seven percent, so it's still really nice. But uh, also adds up for uh, Guillaume Perro, which is the illustrator that uh, created this fantastic label right over here. So he's a local illustrator here in Gatineau. Uh, We've met him before, right? Yeah, because he looks exactly like Max. Well, he used sometimes. to back in the day. Yeah. Yes. We, <laughs> it's <laughs> Max double 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 ganger. Ganger, right? double, double, double ganger. Ganger. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's kind of weird. Kudos if you can find the picture on Facebook of us one next to the other wearing the yeah. exact same outfit and the exact same facial hair. It's out there. I couldn't find it. Maybe it's but it's fit right here. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if you can find yeah, it. Yeah, maybe it will appear now. <laughs> uh, but he is doing really good work. Just released nice books for kids. I uh, did a tour in France. Yes, I'm following him on Instagram. So you should go follow him too at the same time. The link's gonna be down there. Definitely give him some love and tell him tell him where the love <laughs> comes from. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I think it rounds up my review of this fantastic beer from Donam and Twin Sales. Yes. Uh, I do enjoyed it and also uh, look forward to get more beer from Twin Sales because we don't get that. We don't get that, that often, often, so here. it would be so interesting to get more from them. Yes. Definitely, yeah. And a little, little thing. Then I'm is also doing a collab with Bellwoods. Ooh, that is gonna be interesting. Releasing this yes. Saturday. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go out this Saturday and I, uh, I'm already some beer. off for something, so <laughs> you have you have to do the road trip by yourself now. All right. I think you're able to do it. Perfect. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So if you guys did enjoy this review, please leave a like, subscribe, and also leave a comment which beer you Bellwood. want us to review next because this is what we do here at Ops and Bros. We want you guys, you craft beer geeks, to enjoy those those beers as much as we enjoy them. So right? let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, leave a comment. Let us know what you want us to review next. If you have any ideas of what we should taste, yes. drink, have, have, and cheers. Cheers to you guys. We love you. Yes, we do. Ooh, that's deep. Oof. Deep, deep, deep. <sighs> C'est fucking nice, man. C'est une très bonne job. C'est tout pour le fond, red dans ta bouteille.